Over the weekend, we saw a crowd of people pull down the statue of slave owner John McDonough from its pedestal in Duncan Plaza. Then they took it to the Mississippi River and rolled it into the water. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore. McDonough's statue was actually recovered from the river by someone yesterday, but no one knows who took it or where it goes from there. Our Danny Monteverdi has the story and a look at what one local man says should happen as the city begins to explore what other statues should come down and what our street names should change. This viewer video shows a group of men salvage a statue of John McDonough from the Mississippi River on Sunday. Moments later, they load it into a pickup truck. A day before, protesters pulled it from its pedestal in Duncan Plaza and rolled it into the river. Mayor Latoya Cantrell says it doesn't appear city officials know who the men are. I do believe that that happened without the city of New Orleans. Again, that has yet to be confirmed. Three years after the city took down some Confederate monuments, the council is looking at renaming streets, parks, and other places named for white supremacists. McDonough is debated since he donated money for public schools, but was also a slave owner. Author and historian Charles Marsala says he agrees some changes need to be made. He questions why a statue of former mayor Chet Morrison remains in Duncan Plaza, for example. Morrison was a segregationist mayor for many years. He actually is the guy that wouldn't let Ruby Bridges go to school. Marsala says there should be some additions to the local landscape. One example? PBS Pinchback in 1872 became the nation's first African-American governor out of New Orleans. So why don't we have, he's buried here. Why don't we have a marker here for him? He hopes you know, cultures that up. contributed to the Bring city, the such as Italians, will also be recognized. While the debate about what stays or goes begins, Cantrell says there's one certainty. Vandalism of public or private property, such as removing statues without approval, won't be tolerated. Should that happen, uh, we will ensure uh, arrests are made and people are held accountable. Cantrell says change will come, but only after debate and discussion. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. The city says it considers the McDonough statue to be stolen property. The city council is expected to hear a, to form rather a new advisory committee at this week's meeting to look at possible renamings around the city. Once members of that are appointed, their first report would be due within three months.